I'm guitarist Steve Opicella, and I'll be your host for Pepe Morolla's video for Serious Drummers Only, Volume 1. Pepe is an exceptionally talented individual. His knowledge and experience about drumming, along with his great musicianship, makes him truly one of today's creative modern drummers. Giuseppe Pepe Marola has been a musician since he was a child. Born on December 2, 1969, in Naples, Italy, Pepe began his musical career as a drummer, singer, and actor at the age of five. Pepe performed and toured with his parents, Tina Baroni and Gino Morelli, who are still professional singers and actors. The Marola family performed in theaters and festivals throughout Italy, Canada, and the United States. With his family, Pepe recorded albums as a singer and a drummer, as well as worked as an actor on many television shows. While playing a concert in New York City, Pepe and his family were the opening act for the legendary Frank Sinatra. Mr. Sinatra was so impressed with Pepe's talent that he nicknamed him Little Joe. At the age of 14, Zayas Records signed Pepe to a three-record contract as a singer under the name of Little Joe. Pepe went on to record two more records with Visco Disc. Knowing that Pepe had a great talent, his parents enrolled him in the Conservatory of San Pietro a Maiella in Naples, where he earned a master's degree in classical trumpet. As a trumpet player, he performed for two years on a national television show with the famous Claudio Simonetti Orchestra. After receiving his degree from the conservatory, Pepe decided to pursue his love for the drums. He studied with two nationally known Italian jazz drummers and percussionists, Antonio Golino and Walter Scotti. During this time, he began to develop a strong appreciation of jazz and was exposed to all forms of commercial music. Pepe also began developing his natural talent as a singer as well as an actor. He acted in three movies. In the popular movie, Scunizzi, not only did Pepe play one of the lead characters, but he also sang the movie's soundtrack. The soundtrack became nationally popular and the movie won an Italian Oscar at the International Venice Movie Festival. Singing and playing drums with his family gave him the experience and appreciation for the Italian classics. Pepe is not only at home with singing Italian classics, but has also gained recognition as a singer of contemporary music. At the age of 18, Pepe was contracted to play in the Orchestra Scarlatti of Naples as a drummer and percussionist. He toured and appeared on Rye National Television with several nationally known stars such as Andrea Bocelli, Pietra Montecovina, Raffaella Carà, Katia Ricciarelli, and Ornella Bannoni. He has performed at the Umbria Jazz Festival, Pisa Jazz Festival, and Siena Jazz Festival. In Europe, his other credits include performances with Enrico Rava, Guido Pistocchi, and Franco Ambrogetti. Now living in the United States, Pepe performs as a band leader and sideman for concerts and festivals throughout the U.S. To keep close to his roots, he performs for Italian festivals throughout the world as a singer. He is a frequent clinician for many colleges and schools. He has recorded and performed with Russell Ferrante, Larry Schneider, Philip Upchurch, Norman Brown, and many others.
that was an incredible solo you took there, Pepe, at the beginning here. And uh, so, speaking of the beginning, what would you teach a beginning student? Oh, I see. Good, good question. Uh, the most important thing is uh, to me, a beginning student, is how to hold the drumstick. Interface, how to hold the drumstick, because you want to use the right movement, uh, movement from the very beginning. You know? Uh, there's two ways of uh, holding the drumstick. Classical way, like this. And a uh, rhythm match, like that. Like a lot of uh, rock drum stuff, you know. Rock drum stuff, like this. Uh, I play mostly like this. I play both. But uh, I started in this way, the classical way. And uh, so I just put, you know, like if you open your hand like that, and you make a fist. And then you, you position the drum stick right here. You don't want to go through the middle, otherwise you won't be able to control the, the balance. You want to hold the drum stick from here. Put your finger on the top, the other two fingers right here, the real one right here, and the bottom like this. Okay? Make a little pressure between the, the thumb at this point. Make a little, not too much, otherwise you're going to go too tight. But just a little bit. Slide the fingers on the, on the stick. Right hand. You open your hand. You're going to put, put this line right here. Everybody has this line right here in the middle of your hand. Right in the middle. Put the drumstick like this. Hold it with the two fingers like that. Apply your the other fingers like this on the bottom. Three. You rest. There you go. And of course, make sure that when you guys play, especially at the beginning, try to make a little a triangle on the snare drum, like this. Like a triangle, you know? Six. Let me give an example of that. Um, I'll be playing four notes for each hand. Four quarter notes for each hand. Starting with my left hand. How to hold the stick, you know, that's the way it's supposed to be. Um, and what I just said, I was just moving my rest, just the rest hand. Which is very important. If you guys do that to, to develop, you know, to make this muscle, you know, to develop this, the, the muscle right here. Then after this, if you practice this kind of thing, full thrust for each hand, very slow, only rest movement, then you're gonna apply the fingers. Applying the fingers, it's very important because fingers make you play. Um, of course, you're gonna apply the fingers when you play faster. When you start speeding up and everything, all the way. Of course, you want to start start practicing slow, even when you apply your fingers. You start practicing your fingers, you know. For example, I'm going to play the same thing: four quarter notes for each hand, moving rest and fingers both in the same time at the same time. Okay. This exercise is a great exercise. You know, um, I suggest you practice this exercise at least for 10 minutes every day, 15 minutes every day, using rest and fingers like that. And I don't know if you guys notice, when I play with my right hand, left is up. You know? Then when my left play, when, my, when the left hand play, the right is up. It keeps the fingers open like this. You always close your fingers when you start playing, when you go down, like that. When you hit the snare drum, same thing with the left hand. When it's up, open up like this, like this. Then when you play, like this, like this. Um, 
I have an exercise in which I suggest um, that to all of you guys to practice because it works for me. And um, a really great one. Um, playing quarter notes for each hand, one bar, and eight notes for each hand. Eight notes rhythm for each hand. Four, 15, one bar for 15 notes for each hand. Yeah. Quarter notes, one bar. Eight notes, one bar. One bar for eight notes rhythm. One bar for 15 notes. Let me give an example. 